This is Todd Neal of MedPage Today, reporting from the American Stroke Association meeting in San Antonio. Sonothrombolysis is a technique that combines ultrasound pulses with the injection of a thrombolytic directly into a clot. It had been evaluated for dissolving clots in the legs and pulmonary emboli, but not for brain hemorrhage. Dr. David Newell of the Swedish Neuroscience Institute in Seattle reported the results of a small study looking at the safety of sonothrombolysis for intracerebral and intravascular hemorrhage. So uh, we enrolled, as I mentioned, nine patients between 18 and 85 years. Uh, they had to have a hemorrhage greater than 25 cc's to be uh, eligible for the study. And then we studied their resolution with frequent CT scanners to make sure there wasn't going to be any re-bleeding uh, in these patients. Uh, what we found was what we thought was a quite a significant increase in the effect of uh, hemorrhage lysis. Whereas uh, we, we looked at intracerebral hemorrhages, which were hemorrhages right in the brain parenchyma, uh, in the brain substance, and also interventricular hemorrhages, which were hemorrhages that filled the ventricle. In the um, intracerebral hemorrhage group, we found about a 60% decrease in the clot size within 24 hours of the treatment. And in the interventricular hemorrhage group, we found about a 45% decrease in the hemorrhage size um, over the first 24 hours. There was subsequent uh, decrease in size over that, but the study was, uh, uh, in fact, with the ultrasound treatment was limited to the first 24 hours after treatment. Seven of the nine patients had improvements in functioning by 30 days, and one died, but all patients had a decrease in hemorrhage size. So we feel this uh, um, is a new application for sonothrombolysis potentially that uh, needs to be studied further by redesigning the catheter and including a, and uh, studying a larger group of patients uh, where we can look at some uh, more sophisticated uh, uh, outcome measures and uh, a larger group of patients to study against a placebo group to measure outcome. But it should hold some great promise for treatment of intracerebral hemorrhage evacuation. Uh, and currently, as I mentioned, there's no effectively approved treatment for this condition right now. Reporting from San Antonio, I'm Todd Neal. MedPage today.